Ladies and gentlemen, stick around. We've got Ideas by Elliot. Hey, folks, you're listening to Ideas by Elliot. And we're here with Ideas by Elliot. Podcast, podcast, (laughs) podcast. So I'm here with Mark Becker. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> why, why are you asking me? Because I, that, I was looking at the clock. I'm, I'm pushing sorry. buttons. I'm sorry. I, you know, someday I'll be a professional. Someday. <laughs> I have to... I have to uh, gr- uh, other classes? Fake it till you make it. No, I think there's classes. I have to go to community college or something. Yeah. Right? right. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Mark Becker is yes. running for county board, mm-hmm. Brown County. Yes. And uh, tell me about that. Uh, it's District 26. I live in Pulaski. The, the district represents Pulaski, um, all of the big town of Pittsfield. Uh, there's uh, some of Howard, some of Swamico in there as well. So, yeah, it's a big rural area. So, so today is February 9th. Yes. And there's a big thing at the Smarawa. Uh, yes. That, it's the, a big the, the day in, in Smaravas. <laughs> Smaravas. Yes, it's a big day. You should know how to say that. It's uh, Poonchki Day. So yeah. And so that's a word that's not spelled like it sounds either. <laughs> well, it's like Pizaki. <laughs> or whatever yeah yes but it's uh it's a it's a like a donut thing it's delicious it's fat tuesday i haven't i i I don't know what they're like and i saw the line and i'm like yeah yeah it was like an hour i went uh, i went this morning before work you went Uh, i didn't get anything uh, i'm allergic to to nuts and so you know getting anything in in bakery form is, is difficult but wow a friend of mine is the municipal court judge and he's been the judge for like a hundred years out there. He's, he's awesome. And he always plays his accordion for everybody that's sitting in line. So it's actually a, a pretty cool wow. thing. Yeah. And then he's got like this little, you know, older accordion. Cool. And if, if you play the older one and he gives you the approval, you get a free punchki. So they do. Uh, See, I have the inside track now. Yeah. I shouldn't so. admit this, but the punchki was my lunch today. Was oh, it really? for real? I oh, was out at Uncle Mike's. From, oh, Uncle oh. Mike's. Okay. How was it? Good, good. I had one that was like a pet peeve of mine with donuts is when they cut it all the way through to put the filling in the middle. Okay. Because then you bite and then it all squishes out the other oh, side. Right. Right. Mm-hmm. But they actually had a filled like, I don't know if these are syringe or what. But. <laughs> there's like this, it's like, um, if there's two things I don't understand, it's bakers and doctors. It looks they both like, use syringes. And they're the same to you. Right? Yeah. <laughs> they, they like take the donut, you know, and then they, they there's this little machine that they stick it on. It looks like it's got two straws, right? So they yeah. get it two at a time and just push it right on there and it fills all up. It's actually, it's interesting. Amazing nice. technology. It, it is, it's a breakthrough. We should do a local modern marvels of, of yes. Uncle Mike's Bake Shop. <laughs> well, see, that'd be an excuse to do video. Yeah. There we are. Yes. <laughs> I'll work on getting that approved. And, and just like that, Nick goes, oh, this sounds like work. Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. So Pulaski. Yes. Pulaski. All right. So County Board, Pulaski. How many districts are there for County Board? Uh, 26. Oh, so I got the... You're number 26. I am number 26. Wow. Because mm-hmm. that was a higher number than I remembered. So yeah. That's, that's interesting. There's but, quite a few. So you, have, you are involved in the primary coming up a yes. week from today. Week Today's from today. February 9th. Yes. Hopefully we get this out pretty soon. Like you know tomorrow-ish maybe yeah that'd be cool um and uh so tell me about that well, you don't it's, have to name your your competition or no I, that's fine um well nobody else did so i'm just <laughs> oh well, <laughs> i don't think any of your competition has been here yet so either, yeah either no way, either i I, I mean it's going really really well um i think i'm like the only one in the district that has yard signs up and everything so it's kind of neat to see and every house that i've went to has been so supportive and and um you know, it, it it's nice because one of the big reasons I'm running is is to to be a, a true and active representative, and some of the people that you go to that that typically vote in these primaries they have no idea who the the representative is, so it's neat to to talk to them and and meet with everybody and everyone's been really really great. So if if they don't typically meet with you. Mm-hmm. Or with the candidates, so how do they make that decision then? I that's that's why we're here today. No, I I, yeah. I don't know. It's no, it is. But I, well, I'm just curious what you think about that. The so I've been I've been kind of telling everybody. You know, most people when they go to the uh, the voting booth, they don't know who you are. Yep. They see your name, and hopefully, they at least attach an adjective or a phrase to your name, but sometimes mm-hmm. not even that. So, right. uh, so I, I hope that, uh, you know, when we're done here in 25 minutes yes. that, uh, 
uh, at least people can walk away with a suitable phrase yeah. to, to attach to your name. So. I, I agree. Um, I, I mean, the whole reason I'm, I'm running is, is just to be the, that active representative. And um, I went to the, uh, the Pulaski Village Board meeting not long ago, and they were talking about some economic development things. Uh, there's a lot going on out there, actually. It's, it's crazy. And, you know... So what's the big issue? In Pulaski? Yeah. Oh, I mean... I mean, you're talking to voters, so like, what's on their minds? Well, a lot of the stuff that that they have been saying, um, they'd like to you know figure out something for that. And they're getting like one hundred sixty eight thousand dollars in change f- from the uh, from the stadium tax, and you know it's not something that we do at the county level. But but what I said I could use my role as is kind of be a facilitator, someone that um, holds like town hall meetings like they did here in Green Bay. Mm-hmm. And talk about okay, let's let's hear what everybody would like to do if the village has some ideas, which they do, and they're really good ideas. Um, bring that out to the public, make sure that people know about it, have listening sessions, and I'd be willing to you know be that leader and f- facilitate those and um, publicize those and get people there to to figure out what's going on. Okay. Uh, there's different projects. There's, they have the big hotel that went up in Pulaski. Um, they're putting up, there's going to be a, you know, it sounds like small peanuts, I'm sure, with some of the stuff that, that you've been talking to with. There's, no. a, you know, like a sports no, bar and a... Locally, though, everything's small peanuts. Yeah. You yeah. know, people are focused on oh, snow removal and yeah, right. garbage collection and the roads are beat up and, uh, yeah. you know, and traffic. Yep. Um, so, I, 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 each one of those things is small. So I'm just wondering if there's if there's a difference between what you see out in Pulaski and what what we do here, like about people in Green Bay. Yeah, I, I mean, I no, I don't, I don't really think yeah. there's a, there's a huge issue. It's just you know, like I said, being 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 there for people. That's the biggest right. thing. Is right, you know, just so I'm going to get increasingly more difficult. No, it's fine. Absolutely. Okay. So uh, why are you running? Um, well, you said you wanted to, you know be a, tr- a true representative yep. or however you phrased it exactly. But, uh, you know, uh, so, and I've, I've been, I don't know, maybe a little harsh. I don't know. on some of, some of the, the guests that I've had, but, um, I think I, I'm trying to represent vote the, yep. the, the voice of the voters. And so I want to ask the, so, try to ask some of the tough questions and I'm sure I miss some, but, um, I think most people are skeptical of people in politics Mm -hmm. for, you know, for two reasons. So either they're not qualified and they get elected or, (laughs) or they're overqualified and this is a stepping stone for them. So, so talk (laughs) to that. That's a pet peeve of mine. (laughs) Um, well, I, you in specific and in general, you can, you can go either way on that. Um, well, the, the reason I'm running, um, is I mean I just I, I really really like the community, you know I, I moved out there um, you know, this past year, and my fiance is from there and I, I really fell in love with with the community. It's it's such. We were outside the other day, and uh, this lady was walking by. I never met her before, and she waves at us and she says hello neighbors, <laughs> and my fiance goes well. It typically doesn't happen in Green Bay, does it? <laughs> you know, it depends. And it depends but, yeah. but you know, and and it's just the atmosphere there, the people there, um, and that that's that's why I'm running. Like I said, to to, to be a representative, I, I'd like to. I'm going to prove you wrong now. Every time I'm walking down the street and somebody's walking, down, I'm going <laughs> to say I, hi, neighbors. And I, I that would be so cool if if the, everybody done, did that. Done deal, right? I I'm oh, I'm going to start with the man in the mirror. <laughs> you should. I, I I encourage you and everybody to do that. That's because that because you know what? I'd never met her before. Neither did she, and it just yeah. it made our day. It's actually a good way to do it. Yeah, it's sort of non threatening. Totally. So, but yeah, you don't you don't typically find that right. Probably anywhere, but certainly right. yeah. So right. that, that is friendly. Yes. Um, but to, to answer your question about, you know, the underqualified and get elected and or overqualified and just using it as a stepping stone. I don't think I'm either. Um, I, I certainly hope I'm not underqualified. <laughs> so, OK. And then, then, then there's a third category uh, under ambitious. <laughs> so why not? <laughs> I don't know. I just I 
I don't have a desire to do that. Because in America, typically we we promote people up until where they're not qualified. So if somebody's a, an excellent salesperson, we make them a VP, and yeah. then they're not selling anymore, and they're managing people, and they might they might actually suck at that, right? Yeah. So. Um. Yeah. No. I. I. I don't have a desire to do that right now. Okay. I mean, if if someone down the road thinks, oh, you should do this. God bless him. But I. <laughs> you know, I. I I'm not thinking of that, nor do I desire to do that right now. This is this is truly what I'd like to do. Okay. Um, and I can't stand the people that that do this. Just as you know, I I was talking to Rhonda about this. I I strongly dislike people that will run for these offices and say, oh, I'm using this because I want to get to the state senate. Then you're looking at every single door and every single person that you meet down the way looking at them is just a stepping stone. You're not looking them at them as a constituent or someone you truly want to serve because if you truly wanted to serve them, you wouldn't be wasting your seat and wasting their vote and wasting, you know, the taxpayer's money just occupying. That, that's, that's wrong. I, I think, um, I feel very strongly about that. Okay. I have no opinion. Nobody cares, <laughs> Nobody cares what I think anyway. Um, no, I do. I, I care. Uh, be, uh, you, know. you are a politician. No, well, no. I, it, it, <laughs> you're the, the host of it. It would be interesting no. to see what... Uh, I think, uh, I mean, mostly I agree. However, uh, I do want qualified people to... Uh, I do want qualified people to to be in higher office. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um, I, I, you know, I mean, our current president, I I actually think he's done a a surprisingly good job considering that his experience is sort of limited, right? Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, you do want people to, to... be vetted, but you want them to, you know, you do want them to kind of grow in their, their roles if they right. can take that on. So I, I'm of two minds with it, in, but, but people who overtly right. are using it as a stepping stone. Well, because, you know, we were talking about this off the air, but doing it for the right reasons, I have no problem with someone using, you know, if they're elected and all of a sudden they say, you know, I'd really like to do this. I think at the outset of your you know, your time in whatever elected office you're going for, you should be going there for at the lowest common denominator, at the, at the core of what you're doing, you need to go there because you truly want to serve the community and make the people, um, and, you know, make the area better. That That's that's why people should do this and it frustrates me. <laughs> and I, I am biased, of course, but I, I think it speaks volumes to anybody who is willing to, to come on here. And uh, Thank you. you know, talk about this stuff with me. You know, I'm nobody. I'm just trying to. Represent well, you're not. The, you're not. Trying that, to, I'm trying to represent the yep. the voters. Do your part. Yeah. So, uh, so politically, though, mm-hmm. uh, what what experience do you think does make you qualified for for that position? Well, I've helped out on uh, on a ton of different campaigns, from you know my first one helping a friend of mine run for county board, all the way to you know, state assembly and, and Senate races. Um, so I know the political side of it. Um, professionally, I mean, I've, I've, you know, future 15 recipient of last year uh, for my work um, that I did, you know, with, with partially Dorsch and partially, um, you know, one of the political parties I worked with, um, trying to open it up and do some, some different things. Um, but, yeah, I'm a, I'm a manager at uh, at Lemieux Toyota uh, Finance, so you know you see that side of it. So I don't know. I, I think a combination of all those different things, um, and I, you know, I follow closely of the you know, local developments, and I keep myself abreast of all the different things that are going on. So I feel like I'm pretty well first to uh, okay. You know. How much how much time have you been putting into <laughs> knocking in doors, and uh, because I think that that's surprising to people who oh, yeah. who don't do it. Yeah, I mean, you know, you get a list of um, of all the people that that vote, and um, where do you get that from? Uh, well, you can buy it from the GAB. Okay. Yeah. What's the GAB? The Government Accountability Board. Okay. Yes, and they're great. I mean, they were they were super helpful. I of course know all of this. Oh yeah, <laughs> I, I'm just saying this. No, me. you um, you know, you you submit a request on the website, and I'm I didn't quite know my way through it. So I had to okay. call them and they did everything. They were, they were really, really helpful. Is there a cost involved with that? That was like 35 bucks. Okay. So, so everybody's on a list and they, they might not even be aware of that. Uh, if you voted in the last four primaries, you're on, well, I mean, if you voted in the last election, you're on that list. Okay. Mm-hmm. That's All public right. knowledge. But um, yeah. So in terms of the time, um, it's, it's crazy. 
It was, uh, I, I, I would imagine between eight to 12 hours a week. For how many weeks? Um, well, I started this, I got my signatures in mid December, mm-hmm. um, took a couple weeks off to plan the fundraiser and figure out, you know, some of the graphics and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, I would say for the last, <laughs> what is say February month, month and a half. Okay. I've been doing that. And what would you, like, what percentage would you say of, of the voters in the district are you able to hit or that are on the list anyway? Um, you know, it, it's, it's, the primaries are really, really low. You know, I would say seven to 800 people are on that primary. I'll hit, I mean, I'll hit every one. Whether I get to talk to them or not, you know, if they're not home, you know, obviously you leave a flyer, but, um, the people that you get to talk to out of those 800, 700, um, a good 70%. So there's seven or 800 people listed as that voted yeah. that you need to hit in your yep. district. Yeah. Um, that's a lot. Yeah. Be- I can't wait to see what, yeah, God willing, I get through that, uh, through the primary. I, you know, I, I was thinking about that last night. I'm like, oh God, if I get through that primary, that list about triples, <laughs> you know, cause it's going to be a presidential primary. So there's right. going to be a ton of people coming out cause Wisconsin's probably going to be in play for the first time in a long time. So yeah, that, I, it's, well, we don't know. We don't know who our candidates are going to be. Well, yeah. There might so, not be any play. Well, <laughs> yeah. Well, who knows? You know, I was watching the, um, one of the debates and they had post-debate coverage and they said mm-hmm. that, you know, they don't think that the, the Democrats are going to be decided until, you know, April. I think I saw the same thing. Yeah. And the Republicans are going to be decided in like June or May right. or something like that. Right. So it's, you well, know. And somebody else said vice versa. Yeah. Like they could both go to June. Yep. Yeah. Which would be, I, you know, I, I have mixed feelings about that. Other countries don't take so long. Uh, but choice uh, is good. But choice is good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's it's interesting. Uh, yeah. I talked to Gina about that, and she was uh, um, she was talking about how I, I think she thinks it's too short. Like we don't have enough mm-hmm. time sure. to know who these people are before they're already decided. Yeah. If it's June that they're decided, yeah. they got till November. And yeah. That's really actually a lot of time. But. Well, I it depends on what state you're in. If it's a lot yeah. of time, you know. Right. But I mean, for the, yeah, so, you're, so for the primary. You mean, yeah. 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 Oh, I see what yeah, you're saying. Yeah. 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 I, it's, uh, yeah. That, we, we, we did talk for uh, two hours about that before, right? Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Yes, that was fun. So, uh, da, 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 da. so uh, tell me about your, like, your professional background. So you, you mentioned you're at Lemieux. Mm hmm. Um, I, so I graduated from NWTC. I have a degree in marketing, um, worked, you know, did the old job hop <laughs> for, for a couple of years, kind of worked my way up at different places. And I was at Dorsch, uh, Ford, which is an absolutely wonderful place. I worked there for about f- what, four or five years, something like that. Um, in May, I came over to Lemieux Toyota as a business manager. I did the same role at, uh, at Dorsch. Okay. At Lemieux, it's a little less hours, less stress, and um, fantastic place. So that's, that's what I do there, working with customers, getting loans, and working with salespeople. And I don't think I could sell a car to save my soul, but you know, that's okay. <laughs> well, so that, that kind of uh, that rolls into what I was going to say is, uh, so you, you have a pretty high level job. So mm-hmm. how do you have time for doing, doing this? Well, I think if I worked at, at Dorsch, I wouldn't have okay. time. Um, but doing this role, I, I, I truly do. And if, you know, if, if I have, if I'm able to put eight to 10 hours in campaigning, you know, I, I'm very confident I could put that or more into, into the strap. And what do you think is required? You think that eight to 10 hours a, a week that you're saying? Is- um, yeah, you know, I would think about that. Okay. Um, maybe this district might be, a little more than than you know a, a city district because of the questions that um, a county supervisor would get in the rural area mm-hmm. might be a little more than what they would get at at uh, you know in the city because typically the, the city council person is going to get the f- <laughs> first level of. So I think people do get confused about that. Can you make a distinction between what uh, what sorts of issues are decided at city council or uh, village mm-hmm. board or something like that uh, versus Can- county board? City council, um, I think it's like the the direct issues, you know, garbage, mm-hmm. plow the streets, um, some land issues. County, there's a lot of ancillary stuff that people don't don't realize that the county helps out with. You know, like um, Casa is a fantastic program. The county helps out with. Um, 
you know, of course, there's the highway department and the you know, sheriff's department, which is big, and mm-hmm. the county jail, all that kind of stuff. Um, but there's also mental health components. There's um, aid to to um, people with you know mental disabilities, physical disabilities. So it's a lot of some of the higher end services is what the what the county. So provides. was there something surprising to you that the county's involved in that you didn't maybe know about, or that you think might be you know, um, surprising to anybody else? I. I don't know anything specific, maybe just the breadth of things that, that the county really gets involved with. Um, my fiance works at NEW Curative or Curative Connections is what they're called now. Okay. And they, you know, the county helps them out. Um, and helps them out, what does that mean? Is, is part of their funding source. Okay, so they're an independent organization? Yes. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> yep. And then the county supports them. But you know, like all, all the different things that, um, I mean, just look at their website, all the departments they have, and you can click on it and, and see the subsections and all the things that they're involved with. It, it's a lot. There's no doubt. So, uh, do you think that because there is so much that, um, like, I think I wouldn't know where to start if I didn't know the people that I know and the, the whatever the, the some of the things that go on I, I, that I'm aware of. If I was just like a regular person, I don't know that I would know where to start if I did come across an issue. So, what would you recommend for somebody in that case? Well, I, th- you know, like going to the website is overwhelming. I yeah, think. in terms, of, so what in terms of finding out what they do? Yeah, so or, you know, I'll, I'll, so I'm one of your, I'm one of your constituents, and I have an issue. I don't know if it's uh, a Pulaski issue. I don't know if it's a county issue. Uh, you know, some things are clear cut, and some things maybe mm-hmm. are not, to, and that may vary even between people. And it might be a state issue. I've, I really have no idea. So, what would you recommend they do? Call, you know, if, I mean, any one of your elected representatives, and it's that's their job to kind of help you through, you know, weave you through that maze. If it's something they can help out with, then it's great. If it's not, then, you know, if it's a village issue, I, you know, if, for me personally, I mean, all the village board members are friends of mine and we'll work with them. And, you know, that's, so, yeah, just, just call your representative. Okay. Okay. That's what they're there for. Okay. And do they all feel that way? I would hope so. Should we give out everybody's phone numbers? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It uh, surprised me. There's some, um, you know, like some municipalities, they don't, you know, the city of Green Bay, it's, you, you know where they live, you know what their phone number is. Yeah. It's not always the case. I thought that was kind of different. You know, anyway. Yeah, no. I Sidebar. <laughs> I don't think that is a sidebar. I, I mean, so part of me doing this is because I feel like there isn't enough transparency. Yeah. I, I feel like we have like this, uh, I don't know if it's an old, old, the cliche like old boys club, but it yeah. feels so, uh, I don't think most people know there's a primary next Tuesday. Right. And, and I don't know yeah. how they, like I, I'm close to it. So like in a, in a way, I don't know how they don't know, but yet I also totally know how they don't know because um regular people aren't seeing it right like it's not in their it's not in their it's not even on their radar right yeah on my um on the flyer that i hand out on the back side is my cell phone number yeah and i give it out to everybody you know and so i always tell people you know hey if you have any questions that's my phone number it rings right in my pocket so you know that, that i think that's important you talk about transparency yeah you need to be able to get a hold of someone you need to you know it's, you know okay so devil's advocate on that yeah that's a little rough if you got a call right now you wouldn't be able to answer it well, I mean, neither does you know other elected representatives. No. But the whole res- the whole thing is now. I think you have an argument if I don't call them back in like five days. You know, but that's but that's also rough because I'm a constituent. Uh, I might call you when it's convenient to me, and that might never be a convenient time for you. And then it is difficult for you to call me back. You know, and I and I think with the varied, diverse world that we have mm-hmm. and that we're kind of moving into, everybody doesn't work a nine to five. Mm, oh, I don't. <laughs> so you know what I yeah. mean? Like uh, I so like I think that's actually very difficult, and I have a problem with that myself with some of my customers. You know, they mm-hmm. have businesses that work you know com- completely contradictory hours to what yeah. uh, I want to work. <laughs> yeah. So it becomes really hard, and then uh, sometimes they're like, "I'll come in, call me back," and I'm like, uh, "Because I." tried once and then I forgot <laughs> and you know so I, I, I guess I uh, just a little bit of devil's advocate there yeah. like um, I think people that get a lot of 
communications, that can be difficult. Yeah, it's just, well, it's just a function of how do you manage that. Yeah. And you, so yeah. you think you'd be able to manage oh, yeah. that? Yeah. Uh, I guess that's that's my overarching sure. question. Yeah. Um, so you have means to deal with if you get a sudden increase in... <laughs> yes. Okay. There's okay. a catastrophe or something. Yes. Well, well, uh, um, yeah. I mean, if so, if yeah. there's an actual issue boom, you're going to get a hundred phone calls. I mean, I feel like that's how these kind of, th- these offices work. Like they get nothing and then they get a hundred. Well, yeah. So mm-hmm. you're, even with your job, you think you're able to, to handle that. Oh yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. And I, w- I will give all of your competition the equal. Yeah. Grade, grade. No, I, no, that's <laughs> totally but, fine. But you know, so like as a, as a taxpayer, as a voter, like those are things I think people want to know. Mm-hmm. Like how, you know, it's easy to say, I give everybody myself a number. Um, I can give myself one. Oh, I do that with full confidence that I'm going to be responsive. Okay. So uh, I guess we should do a sponsor break. Yes. Sure. Okay. Go for it. Oh, wow. I, I machine so, well, gunned you before. Well, I didn't I, expect no, you to go no, back I to just, me like I'm that. just teasing you. So we had wow. uh, so uh, before we recorded with Mark, we had this uh, group in here, and uh, it actually this made a good meeting room. I don't know if that's something that that uh, yeah you, you think that would be publishable, but um, uh, I. Um, I don't know. I, I was just thinking like people could actually have meetings here, especially if there's like a presentation and they, they have an right. AV need. Yeah. So what we, that's actually a, a big job we have coming up. Um, we have an organization that is renting the room to hold a meeting and they have some attendees that can't be here in person. So the convenience factor was rather than us bringing our equipment out to their offices and setting up microphones and cameras and all that stuff. And, um, doing a live stream, they're coming here, and we're just going to broadcast it out of this building. So it, it saves the the cost of having to rent the equipment for the whole day. It saves the time of us setting up and taking down because it's in my building. I can set up before they get here, and I don't have to bill them for that time. So that is actually something that we are approaching with businesses: is um, hold your meetings here, and then we can broadcast it to the web so that if you have attendees that can't be there, or if you just want a recording of it, uh, you know it's very easy for us to get that recording done well thank you for not recording that one right well (laughs) that was different it it was Um, it was fine it was fine yeah that was a that was a photographer's group uh the rising tide society actually yeah um so nice uh independent group but uh yeah we've got all kinds of cool things from video to audio podcasting uh uh, and she she mentioned the podcasting she did. Did she point to you? No. Because because no. the other camera corner guy here knew who you were and was like, oh, that's the podcast guy. Oh, well, that's cool. <laughs> that's I'm like, cool. I'm like, yeah, you should have acknowledged him. Oh, no, it was fine. He mm-hmm. was totally good. He was totally good. Okay. We made fun of you a lot. It was good. So Eric talked? Uh, yeah, he said, hey. I'm, I thought Brittany you know, was going to talk. They, they both did. Okay. They're, hey, they're. they're uh, I gave her a script. I didn't talk to him. It, and, so. and, and, and it showed that she had a script. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> totally did not. She was great. I'm teasing. Nice. I'm teasing. All right. I, I'm an equal opportunity basher. That's okay. <laughs> so how would, people, how would people get in contact with you next? Uh, 920-272-0148 or email rentals at cccp.com. Excellent. Those are the two best ways. Thank you. All right. And then uh, my other sponsor that I always call out is Release Wire. And I'll be doing uh, some... Uh, uh, podcasting there so uh, hopefully everybody keeps their ears open for that mm-hmm. so uh, now we're back with Mark Becker yes uh, county board candidate for yes. is it district called 26. districts district yep. 26 yep. okay and there's a primary on February 16th yes so knocking on doors yep. yard signs what else are you doing to get the word out I had my mailer go out um, yesterday um, the eighth and uh so that's going out this week it should hit doors um on monday i'm going to be making calls to you know all the people that i was able to speak with that said they're going to vote for me so i'm trying to do a little you know get out the vote friday of course and it's you know my day off so i'm gonna hit the hit the doors one last time really really hard all day so hopefully uh you know good things happen there so you mentioned a mailer. So yes. um, I think, uh, you know, we hear about the millions of dollars in presidential politics mm-hmm. and, you know, whatever, different different offices have, you know, different amounts that people spend. Yep. But like, how much does that cost for you? Like, how much are you putting out of pocket to do this? Like, uh, you know, you don't have a, you don't have a big health insurance company, you know, l- lobbyist. No, I don't. Money, right? No, no. Um, I, I did a fundraiser, so I was able to raise, you know, a, a decent amount. So that, that helps. Um, you know, I put some of my own money in there. So, yeah, 
you can I think campaign finance reports. I'm sure there's going to be an article written about how you know everybody did and all that yeah. stuff. So it's all public knowledge. But, um, but like vaguely, are we talking hundreds, thousands, tens a of few thousands? Hundreds. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cheap plug to hire them in printing. They're fantastic. They really, Excellent. really, okay. really good job. Um, so you, so you had a, a print, print place yep. do this stuff. Did they handle the mailing for you too? Oh yeah. Just wondering. yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, I just curious about that. Yeah. They have their own mail house inside of the company so they don't mark up postage and all that kind of stuff. Good. Really, really good. Good way to, but still postage costs. rates have increased and yep. like, that becomes a cost that I think people don't realize. Yeah. There's a lot of different costs that, you know, kind of getting into this. I'm like, Oh yeah. Oh shoot. I got to pay for that. <laughs> you know? So what was something well, surprising? About well, that? you know, just, um, I guess it, it just the overall cost of what it was going to be, you know, like yeah. the, the mailer, I didn't realize it was going to be that much. And, um, you know, you're kind of looking forward to you know, God willing, again, I get into the, into the general, uh, you take that and, and because the voters go up threefold, sure. so does the cost. So right. Yeah. It can get a little, a little pricey, but yeah. And I think it. people don't realize that, you know, so, you, yeah. you know, not only are you looking to help your neighbors out, but you're, you know, you're footing a lot of the price for that. So. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot that, you know, you, you don't do this, you know, you, you got to put a lot of thought into it. Yeah. Um, okay. So, uh, on County board, yes. uh, in the past, uh, where do you think they came up short? So like, what are you offering? Well, you know, what are you hoping to change? Um, I know Troy pretty well. Okay. And I think overall he's had, um, he's done a good job. So and Troy's I, who? Troy Streckenbach, the county executive. Great okay. guy. Okay. Uh, really, really good guy. I, I didn't like, you know, we had a, a big increase this year. It's the biggest in about 10 years. So, you know, about 3.5 million direct impact. So that's, you know, I, I, I don't, I didn't like that. Um, but I guess my issue really isn't with the county board as much as it is with the district. So that, you know, I'm looking to, to, to do that. What I can add to the county board, I, I think there are things where, you know, we can, we can be a little more strong. I think sometimes like with, for example, the Shirley Wynn issue, mm -hmm. I think it would be nice for, for the County to be a leader instead of kicking it down the road. Um, you know, it would be nice to see. They so, said, so talk about that a little bit. That's yeah. not in your district, right? No. So, um, what, what, what's like, what's your opinion on that? Or what should your opinion be on that? Well, I mean, I, I've spoken with some of the people that are out there. I don't think they're crazy at all. You okay. know, I, I mean, there's there's something that is that what's on the table? Like people are either crazy or well, like, <laughs> no, it's it's it's. Weird. I don't know that most people know about that. Like it's it's one of those things. Like if yeah, it doesn't they, impact you directly, right? You, um, it's not on your radar. So the the theory is, uh, these turbines emit something called. You know, infrasound, mm -hmm. and so it's really super low frequency, and you can't hear it. It's not audible, but it affects you. Your anxiety goes up. Sometimes you might be sick to the stomach. You know, people are affected in a bunch of different ways. And I mean, it's true that happens. So I guess the the question that is being put out there is: Is it happening? Okay. And what Brown County did was they said, "Well, you know, we would like to see the state." make you know foot the bill for a study is like two hundred fifty thousand dollars that the governor had in his last budget it was nixed um so th there's not money there right now for the state to have that that study i think it would be nice to have brown county maybe not at that expense but we have different resources that we can use to to start you know get the ball rolling with with some different types of studies and kind of be a leader there okay um that that's something that i would like to see some you know we're the fourth largest county in the state we we, we should be leading in some different things like um i went to a house and it was a retired police officer and he was in a lot of um you know autopsies mm -hmm. well, we just sent our medical examining duties down to dane county so we don't have that anymore well in speaking with him and in speaking with some other you know people that are in the know that could be an area that we lead on as well you know we could have instead of a coroner we have a medical examiner that mm -hmm. which is which is a, a medical doctor mm -hmm. that actually does these for brown county and we can you know fond du lac has one how much smaller are they than us and they're kind of a regional type uh, you know where different counties contract with them and you hate to be morbid about it but you could that could be a funding source for the county if you know we have counties like Oconto and Kiwani and Door and some of the more rural counties Sean will sign up with with Brown well that could be a way that that you know 
Okay, I'll be uh, I'll be quick devil's advocate on that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I, I don't think our clock is accurate, so I don't. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> but if it is, then we, whatever. Uh, so should the county or, sh- uh, you know, in our case, should, should Brown County be looking for funding sources from outside the county, like to be contracting uh, for services like that? Like, well, what do you mean? Um, so, I mean, to me, I think, I and I, I don't know how I feel about it, but I think, uh, I think a lot of, uh, taxpayers and voters, I think they may, you know, they want the county to, you know, they, you know, they pay their taxes. They want the county to do, be doing things for the people in the county. And if you're doing things for, you know, other counties, uh, you know, how does that really work? <laughs> well, and and even if you think it does work, um, wouldn't it contribute to government bloat? And so all of a sudden, we, our county's too big and it can't be responsive. Like, don't you think there's a risk? Well, involved I mean, in, in stuff like, like the county coroner, I mean, it's, it's not something that a small rural county like Kiwani or okay. Shawano or uh, Ocon. So they always contract not gonna with have, somebody. Yeah, anyway. I mean, they're not they're not going to have. So why that. not us? So why? Yeah, okay. exactly. You know, okay. we're a big county. Why why can't we provide that? You know, be a regional leader instead of having them send people down to Madison, you know, and, and while families Oh, so that's what's actually and, involved. So they send bodies to Madison. Well, yeah. Okay. okay. You know, and, okay. and so, you know, and, and you think of the families, I mean, they're away from their loved one for days, right. Right. potentially. Okay. And, and that, I, I, okay. That's something that we could do. I Interesting. Think. And okay. So I kind of sidebarred there. So, yeah, no. Yeah. So, so, uh, um, anything, anything else you think that you'd like to see changed? Um, you know, I, no, I mean, I think it's just the the level of representation. Needs okay, to be so a little bit. Uh, uh, okay, um, anything you think should be? So you you said that you'd like to see that sort of added mm-hmm. as maybe a service that we do. Uh, you'd like to see more leadership in the yes. the the, the, uh, the wind turbine issue. Uh, that's an example. I mean, yeah, yeah you know. no, but okay. Uh, is there anything that you think uh, should be cut? Um. In terms of services, in terms of... I don't of know. I, I'm asking the questions. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to answer. <laughs> no, I mean, I, in, in terms of specific things I'd like to cut, I I don't... I can't think of any at this point. I mean, you know, I I think the county's doing pretty well. Troy's running a, a, a decent ship. He okay. really is. So, so, at, uh, so this, is the, this is the conundrum you're in, though. Yes. Um, then why should we elect you? If everything's fine, what do we need you for? Well, I think everything's <laughs> fine at the administrative side. Okay. With with Troy. I, I, I like Troy. I think he's doing a, a good job. Everything's not fine on the county board side. Okay. Right? So, you know, you look at the branches of government, even on the county level, there's the administration with Troy. County board is the other side. I think... Um, you know, in terms of, like I said before, level of representation. That's why, you know, my yard signs in every one of the village board members' houses because they know that we need someone that's in their corner. We need someone that's that's strong because as sad as it is, there are some people in the county board that don't even realize Pulaski's in Brown County, you know? And so it's, it, that shouldn't happen. You know, if, if we're a district that's so far kind of in the, in the rural area, you need someone that's a strong voice. You need someone that, that, you know, t- takes the fight to the county if we need something. Uh, and that's what we're lacking right now. Okay. So if anybody would want to, uh, get in touch with you or um, find out more information, where should they go for that? Uh, you can go to facebook.com slash Becker for County Board. Um, that's where you can find me. Okay, um, great. Email markbecker26 at gmail.com. One thing that's neat um, that I would just quickly bring to the county, there's six rural districts in Brown County. So I would kind of want to set it up, you know, in the, in, in Congress, they have different caucuses, right? Sure. Uh, I would want to set up something called the rural caucus, where if something is going to come down the pike, that's kind of a, a negative impact to any one of um, the rural, the rural guys, you know, Green Bay has like six representatives. The pier has a few. Mm-hmm. We would band together and make sure that you know, we can't be railroaded by something that, that would be uh, negative. So that's uh, an idea that I've, I've kind of come forth with and talked to some of the, the town supervisors and some of the other people in the county, and they, they like the idea. Um, so that's that's something that, that I'm excited to do, and that's something that I, you know, you talk about changes and what I can bring to the county, that's something that I'm very excited to uh, 
hopefully be able to do. Okay. So we'll close out with uh, just give me your 30 second elevator pitch. The, the You know, the one thing you want everybody to kind of come away with. Uh, I, I mean, I've harped on it I, so much through this whole thing. I, I'm, I'm humbled to be doing this. I mean, this is something that I, you know, never thought I, I would have this type of response. I mean, everyone's been so amazing. And the, the biggest thing is I, I, you're very humbled by all the people that give you encouragement. And when you go to the doors and, and, you know, everybody that believes in you, it's, it's really, it, it makes you feel very good, but it also gives you a very big sense of responsibility. Um, my whole reason for running again for like the 12th time, I feel like Marco Rubio repeating myself. It's, <laughs> I, 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 I want to do this because I want to be a strong representative for the community that I really, really, really love. Um, that's why I'm doing this and I uh, hope, hope to get some help. <laughs> awesome. So there is a primary on yes. February 16th. The, the week from today. Whether you like Mark or not, you should go vote. If yes, you, if, I agree. If you're, if you're in a district that has some... Uh, that that has the uh, a primary need. Oh, the whole state has a primary. Okay, see, yes. good good information. That's right. Uh, so everybody should be voting. Everybody should. Vote. Uh, okay, good good good. Uh, and uh, when is the uh, the actual spring election? April fourth. Okay. Yes. Uh, so if if the people are listening to this after February sixteenth. Yeah. They should get out and vote in April. Yes. And, and, and support the candidates, you know, get to know them. And, and if you like them, you know, there's, there's really fantastic people running and I'm so excited to see the huge field of candidates. It really is a, a neat thing for this area, you know, for awesome. the city council, Brown County, everything. It's, it's really, really cool. Cool. Okay. Thanks for being Thanks, here. Thanks buddy. Appreciate it, man. Yeah. It's fun. Don't forget to run over to iTunes and Stitcher and give a rating and review of the show. It helps other people find us. Cheers.